Hey guys, how's it going? Uh, happy Monday. Hopefully you're warm and dry. Okay, so today for writing, what we're going to be doing um, in reading, we're reading Ivan, right? The one and only Ivan. Now, we're going to be doing a bit of um, a writing for this week. Maybe just a bit, you know, it's writing. Okay, are you ready? So here's our writing prompt. And this is the brainstorm section. I'm going to go into a little bit of exactly what brainstorming means. Then I'm going to show you an organizer to help you organize for your writing. Okay. All right. So, and here's how I, I'm going to show you how I want you to do it. All right. So let's read our prompt. This is what we're writing about. Okay. So Ivan is the narrator of the story. Why do you think the author chose to have him tell the story instead of writing it from a human's perspective? What do we learn from Ivan's point of view that we might not learn had the story been told from a human's point of view? Okay, so let's break down this writing prompt. What it's asking us in that first question um, so we're going to need to answer that in our writing, right? We're also going to need to answer the second question, okay? Now, why do you think the author chose to have him tell the story instead of writing it from a human's perspective? Okay, so if you're a little iffy on what that's actually asking, I bet perspective is a word that's really kind of throwing you off, okay? So I want you to go find the meaning of perspective, in your own time. Right now, you're in my time. So, perspective. Um, human's perspective or human's point of view. Those are synonyms, okay? So, why did the author choose to write uh, the, per the story from a, uh, well, from Ivan's point of view instead of a human's point of view, right? Like Mac. Why didn't she write the story uh, with Mac's point of view? You're going to answer that, okay? You also need to answer, what do we learn from Ivan's point of view that we might not learn had the story been told from a human's point of view? Okay, so not only... <sighs> Excuse me. Hi, Fancy. You joining me? Okay, so not only are we writing why the author chose to have Ivan tell the story, but now... We're also going to answer, what did we learn from Ivan's point of view that is different from the human's point of view? Okay, so we're going to have to think of both what Ivan has shared with us and how it would be different from if, say, Mac was the, uh, was the protagonist, was the person we're reading from, right? Okay, so... We have two questions to answer. Why did the author choose to write the story in Ivan's point of view? And what, what did we learn from Ivan's point of view that's different from uh, if it had been a human sharing or a human telling the story? What things are different? What has Ivan done that a human wouldn't do? What has Ivan said or thought that a human wouldn't do? You are going to be using compare and contrast for this. Okay, so what I would suggest doing, you're going to have access to this writing prompt. I would come down. You can just bring your cursor over here and press enter, enter, enter. And what I like to do is, so we're, we're going to be forming a whole lot. Now, when you're writing like a paper, especially answering a writing prompt, you always want an introduction, right? So you want, number one, intro. That's your introduction. You're introducing what you're talking about today, okay? And you can, it can be as simple as three to four sentences, just introducing, I'm going to be discussing the book, Ivan, or the one and only Ivan. Uh, I will be talking about the viewpoints of Ivan and what, if it had been written from a human's point of view. And 
I will be talking about um, what I learned from Ivan different than what I would have learned from a human. Notice I'm taking a writing prompt and restating it to make sentences. You can do that, okay? You're introducing us to what we're about to read, okay? Okay, your second paragraph is gonna be what? You're gonna answer, answer question one, right? Number three, you're gonna answer question two, okay? And then what are you gonna do? Conclusion, right? You always want to end. Okay, so you have uh, you have intro, you have answer to question one, answer to question two, and conclusion. Okay, so this is think of it as a roadmap, right? This is how we're gonna start our writing. Now, what I like to do is I like to take this information, and we're brainstorming, right? So I like to give myself space. You can give yourself as much space as you need. Don't pitch, I don't know. The numbers are weird, but don't pay attention to the numbers right now. So I like to give myself space to write, okay? Because that way it gives me a chance to actually think about what I'm doing. And remember brainstorming guys is not a rough draft. Okay, you're setting up information, you're brainstorming, you are going, okay, what sort of things could I put in my story here, or in my, uh, in my paper? Hmm, okay, here's what you're going to do. So obviously, from the prompt, are we writing a story? Nope. Nope, we're not going to be writing a story. So this is going to be nonfiction because we're answering questions using our brains, right? It's going to be our opinions and our detective work pulling information from the text. So in your introduction, uh, I would just make sure you put uh, something along the lines of uh, introduction. Um, so what am I going to do in my introduction? Well, um, I'm going to introduce the topic yeah okay that's one thing i'm gonna do uh i'm gonna introduce the questions i will be answering uh what else am i gonna do guys this is for you to come up what do we do in the introductory or the intro paragraph right What do I do? Hmm. I like these two. You should come up with at least the third one, okay? Uh, answer question one, okay? And do we expect, I'm um, probably gonna say paragraph, yeah. Remember, <clears throat> four sentences, four to five sentences, and I'm about to show you here in a minute, after you're done with brainstorming, what you're gonna do with those, okay? so. You're gonna answer question one in paragraph. Um, and remember, we're still brainstorming. So we're coming up with ways, uh, uh, answers from the text. This is when you put in quotes and stuff that you can then put in your rough draft in your final draft, okay? So I would go into the text to look for examples uh, that could help support my opinion of why I think the author chose to have him tell the story instead of writing it from a human's perspective, right? Because uh, let me, let's talk for a second. Why would the author choose to tell uh, the story through Ivan instead of writing it from a human's perspective? Maybe to give us a different look. Let us, uh, let us maybe think, man, maybe this is what animals feel. Maybe in so many ways, this is what they go through, right? It makes us think. So I, you know, I'm going to go back into the text and I'm going to find examples of what Ivan might think is a little different than what we might think to help support that. Okay. I'm going to do the same thing for the second 
second uh, answer. What do we learn from Ivan's point of view that you would not learn from a human's point of view? What do gorillas, spe- specifically Ivan, think is more important than, say, Mac, right? We think of different things being important, right? Okay. So, once you are done brainstorming, <clears throat> you are going to come over to your four square writing. This is a cool graphic organizer. Now, I'm going to show you how to use it real quick. You are going to have your topic sentence, okay? Remember, whenever we write a paragraph, you have a topic sentence. That topic sentence tells me what this paragraph is about. You have your three supporting details, right? You have your opening supporting detail. That can be like the least important detail. Then you go to a kind of more important detail. And then you have your third detail, right? Now notice how I'm going in order here. Then you have your summary sentence or conclusion sentence. Summary and conclusion can be synonyms, okay? It can be similar. So you'll write your topic sentence here. And the topic is... um, We could say as simple as, today I will be talking about the novel, novel, the, the one and only Ivan. Okay. So, and that is my topic sentence. Okay. Now, supporting sentence could be like, uh, what did I say? Uh, supporting sentence. It's going to freeze. Um, oh, I'm going to introduce, uh, I can introduce, uh, the questions. Oh, okay. All right. So I would put maybe, uh, I would reword the question. So I'm making a statement rather than asking a question, right? You put that there. And if you can't come up with the third one, that's okay. You put it, you then put your conclusion, you wrap it up. You re kind of tell me what we're talking about. Okay. All right, if you need more, you can come over here and make more. Isn't that cool? I I made it so that you could come in and make more as you need them. You know how you do that? Come over and you take your two fingers and you double click. And you come to duplicate slide. When you duplicate slide, it creates another one just like that one. So I would make a few, and then if you still need more, we're going to start off with four of these to kind of help. Each one, these are going to make up your paragraphs, right? Because notice, there are four sentences or five sentences to each one. If you need to make notes, or if you want to try putting it together in here, down in the notes, like put all these together and see how it sounds, then you can make edits to it. You can put it here, and then you can transfer all this information over to your rough draft tomorrow. Okay, guys, if you have any questions, join me in the Zoom. I will be on all morning, um, pretty much. Um, you can always join me at 9.30. Um, we have a group of really cool people who started getting on about that time. So uh, I'll be on at 9.30, and if we a lot of us get on, we can all talk as a class see what we think and